Hello everybody, it's Swedish Travel here. How you doing? How's it hanging? I hope everyone's alright. In this video, I'm going to do something that I haven't done in quite a while. Um, I'm going to do a top 10 video. Uh, places I want to go to. Um, I think I might be up to like 80 at this point. 80 lists. There is a playlist uh, that you can watch. Um, I'm gonna start off with number 10. Uh, I might uh, mispronounce this, and I'm sorry in, in advance. Um, the Kaitor uh, waterfalls in Guyana, South America. Uh, it is one of the highest ones, uh, and it says that it's five times higher than the well-known Niagara Falls. Um, and uh, since it's one of the biggest ones out there uh, and it's been a while since I've been to South America it's getting close to nine years now um, of course it would be nice to go to go and see one of the one of many nature's places so to speak and uh, number nine would be Aitoliko in Greece uh, it is an island in the west of Greece um, and uh, at least from what I see, it's relatively a small one, but it looks very nice. Um, yeah. And since I haven't been to Greece, it would be nice to go there as well. Uh, number eight would be would be Taishan or Mount Tai in China. I saw a video about uh, about this, and the trike up uh, is insane. Uh, well, to be fair, Mount Tai is uh, known as the Eastern Mountain of Sacred Mountains of China. <laughs> Wikipedia for the win. But uh, going back to at least the video that I seen, um, the hike up is insane. Uh, a lot of people um, that hiked up was well had a lot of leg cramps um, and at least people had to be brought down uh, with help and I wonder if I could do that if I could hike up hike hike up all all of it um so it is a thought uh, number seven would be Nairobi in Kenya the capital of Kenya and uh, it goes with earlier that uh, it's been a long time since I've been to Africa as well and uh, It would be nice to just go back to uh, other continents um, as well um, and uh, Nairobi might be a great segue to other places in the country and maybe for um, national parks and everything. Uh, number six would be Mannheim. Um, it's located at the confluence of the Rhine, at least upper, upper Rhine. Um, and it, look, it looks cool, upon, uh, at least from what I, from what I've seen. Um, I think I read somewhere that it might, might have a. Uh, concentration camps yes it did um, it did have concentration camps and uh, I've been I've been to one and I for some reason I do want to go to another one as well which leads me to the next one number five it would be Dachau um, another concentration camp 
and for some reason I want, uh, want to see that part of history. Um, and number four would be Abuna Yamada Go in Ethiopia. It is a monolithic church in the Tigray region. Um, the problem with this one though is it's situated two and a half thousand meters up uh, if you want to be if you want to compare it with in feet feet it is eight thousand four hundred sixty feet up uh, and uh, it is very it is very rough to get up there and uh, we would see if I could manage um, number three would be uh, didn't kill you underground city in Turkey as you might it is also known as uh, Elengubu and as you might hear from from it it is on the ground um, extending to a to a depth of about 85 meters down um, and that would be cool just just to see to explore that kind of stuff um, and number two the Elora caves um, it is one of the largest rock cut Hindu temples temple caves complexes in the world and uh, seeing that part of history as well would be nice to see see and do and number one which is, which is something I saw a video about is Verdun in France and that's because uh, going back to other things in on this list that uh, it would be a part of history especially World War One uh, where a huge battle happened here in Verdun uh, so yeah that would be amazing to see um, Comment in below what you think. Uh, I would put the list in the description. Um, comment below, like and subscribe. And if you want to support the channel, hit my merch and merch up down below. Otherwise, peace.